84 degrees. Gorgeous day here in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Second game of the two-game midweek set between the Red Raiders of Texas Tech and the number two team in the country, the Arkansas Razorbacks. This Today they're going to face a freshman left-hander who has got a chance to push into the weekend rotation next year. And that's Colin Fisher, and he's thrown a pitch in his five wide. earned runs. Here's the next one on the slow roll at a second. It's charged by Stovall, who will throw to first, and that'll be one out on Gap and Cash. Transfer from Sac State. Kevin Bazell, he swings at the first one. Oh, what a play by Souza with the backhand. Aloha means inning over. Aloy and Souza. On the 1-1. One -one. This ball is driven to right field. He's watching it. Say so long. Oh, what a shot off the bat of Peyton Stovall. A no doubter. 1-0 Arkansas. We talked about it last night. Peyton Stovall's finally healthy. Missed the first two and a half, three weeks of the season with a broken foot. He's now been a mainstay in this lineup, team captain. And There's another walk, and that's why he has two balls, one strike. Lahiva Aloy on the ground. Could be two. Burns, Pompey, it is. Some relatives that have played Major League Baseball playing here today. This one to right center. It's going to get down. How about six for his last six? Turn it on, Austin Green. Man, that looks like a beach ball to him. Stand up double to start. I know, answer with you, two. Then you got scared of it and you ran away from it. The, the two minutes and four seconds from first pitch to third out. Two out. On the 2-2. Two -two, and this ball is hit to center. Fairly deep with some carry. And circling it right in front of the track. And here comes the throw into third. Cut off by Aloy to second. And both runners advance. Good heads up base running. Austin Green and Drew to 84 in the season. Swings at the first one. And all right, here we go with the sun. This thing is up there a mile. And who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? Nobody's going to get it. It went off the glove of Stovall right next to the shortstop Aloy. And just as we had talked about with the foul balls on the third base side, you are staring up into the sun. Washburn up the middle. Aloy, did he get the bag? That was pretty. That is a double play. That Kicked it on pretty. the way by. <laughs> to turn this, but watch the footwork when he goes up the middle. Straight route to second, pause just enough, kick it and make the strong throw over, but towards the infield. And this one is hammered to left field. Back goes Woodcox and forget that one. Sousa opposite field power. Second home run of the game for the Hogs. They lead it two to one. And that is strong. Nine. Now you get solo home runs in the first and the second. I mean, this is, if you just saw that swing, you yeah. didn't see anything else. If you just saw the swing. Fly out to left. There's no way you think that ball carries out. Nope. And again, I know the wind's going to help a little bit. I mean, that carried out by 30 feet. It went over the bullpen. Just wait till it gets more. Didn't see an update there, but that would not be good news for Oregon State. That's a good piece of hitting there. Will Burns in the nine hole delivers a single. The Wild Wings to get some dinner. Kind of not addressing the situation. This one's hit hard to right. It's going to get down in front of Lovich. And first and second. So Burns on, Cash delivers back-to-back -back singles. Here's Pompey. Squaring, bunting back to the pitcher. Fisher has one play in time. Third is first time up. There's one out. Swings and sends this down the line in right. It's going to be close. It's a fair ball over the wall. Ground rule double. Both runs will score on Kevin Bazell's double. And just like that, Texas Tech back on top. Offense. One, two. And there is a good example of it. Woodcock's down on strikes for the 70. Right field, fairly deep, little bit off the end of the bat. And for a second, it felt like we had Joe. Three, one pitch. That's ball four. They surround the Buffalo, it's one, six. Grab. Hold hard on the ground, stays down, little bobble, but Pompey throws the double play ball to first. Were you able to dunk the basketball? Uh, not till my senior year of high school. I just like play around the gym and just go dunk. It's a little but bit different. <laughs> it's. Hotel's a little bit different. Clubhouse Ooh. a little bit different. Oof. Uh, Fisher Sousa couldn't just, get it. Yeah, Sousa couldn't get it. Sousa pulled up, and that's yeah. that's a pitch. Swing and a miss. Hey, we really appreciate you doing that. We know we'll talk again. Uh, <laughs>
Hey, when when you got to Tech is when Tim Tadlock started. Remind them to, hey, stay locked in in the process and basically the approach, the approach of the game. I like that. Wagner sky high, left field, covering his face. Woodcox, he doesn't seem to know where it is. Now he finds it and makes, makes a tough play. Swing and a miss, and after giving up the walk and a hit batter. Arkansas, and it's Cody Frank. He'll be making his 15th appearance. He had been pretty solid in his last outing against Alabama on the 14th. Now between short and second. Hard hit, nice play over there at first, McLaughlin, and he takes one away on a one hopper. Association through college and minor league baseball, little league baseball, there is it. And Pompey goes, and this ball is lifted to left. It's shallow and playable. And Jones is there to make that play. He will throw behind Pompey, and oh, that's a double play. He almost lulled him to sleep. But Jones with a cannon from left, and Pompey did not see it at all. That is a hose. So we saw the power yesterday, two doubles off the wall from Jason Jones. He just kind of ho-hummed this one, too. Comes all the way in, lulls Pompey to sleep, and then a one-hop missile <laughs> over to first to end it out. That was not shallow left either, but it's still a one-run game. Too far inside, leadoff walk. 3-2. That ball is laced. And here goes Holt. Second base to third base. He'll get there standing up. Take his helmet off. And now men in the corners after McLaughlin's single. He's reached base three times. Two walks and the single. He also grounded into a double play. Waited on that. He delivers the tying run. A single right between third and short. Back-to-back -back singles. Arkansas, the Hogs tie it up here in the bottom of the 6-3-3. Always at first. 2-1, squares again. This time gets it down. He can run. There's the throw over, and Pompey is covering. So second and third now. One down, Souza. 1-2. And this ball is driven to deep center field. Back there, Green makes the play, but here comes the runner from third, McLaughlin, and up to third goes Aloy. Razorbacks have the lead and a long sack fly from Jack Wagner. The one two. Spins another one and he caught him looking. I, I, I think if I'm if I'm not Cooper wrong. Cooper Dyson on right now, the sophomore right hander. As Arkansas continues to go to that bullpen, kind of limit pitch count, make sure. Great baseball guy. Three and one popped up, heading over into foul territory. McLaughlin got it. Nasty slider, Washburn is gone. 87 on the way to the nine hole hitter. Burns on the ground, Aloy. Three hopper and a good throw. A one, two, three inning. Have made significant jumps that were there last year. Watch it Look right out. off the helmet. Hope Jones is okay. He's saying to the home plate umpire wagers he is. Squaring again. And this time, good bunt to first. Really good bunt. Sacrifice has worked. We saw it from highlight of the day. One, two, right field. Should be playable for Washburn. <laughs> and it is. I'm gonna, oh, they did not. No. no, they these people all had mics. No, I got no mic. Strikeout there of Cash with a good two and a third. Three one. Did he hold it? He did. That's a walk. No two. Right back up the middle. Oh, my goodness. Diving play at second. Wow. Stovall on a 102-mile-an-hour missile. Diving to his right. Make this play. Watch Stovall. I mean, you got no time to react. It's the first step is all that matters. He reads it off the bat, lays out. If he gets a handle on it, he's got a chance to potentially double Pompey off first. But it's the first one that matters the most right here. And there you see Jake Faraday's numbers, the junior 6'3", Georgetown, Kentucky, 185, throws it hard and some good yeah. numbers. Green hit that one hard on the nose right at the right fielder. Exit stage right to 105 miles an hour. 
Instead, he died of lefties for Souza, who's on deck. And he will come up with his buddy Aloy at first base and one down. Aloy going. Tried the swim move, and he's in there safely. And we will now send Jack Wagner down to first base on the intentional walk. at second. Ah, oh, he threw it behind him and it got him. That's going to bring a run in. And a little bit of a surprise they even left him in given the walk that he had just thrown with four non-competitive pitches. Rolling on the ground, fielded at third. There's nobody at second, so we'll flip to first. And that will do it. That's the McGee guy we saw last night. An ankle. Solid. Ooh, too far inside. And just like that, the tying run comes to the plate for Texas Tech. Lefty primarily brought on just to face lefties, and he's had really good success against. Stripling on a line, caught. That's an easy double play. Woodcox doubled off. With nobody on, a little bit easier. Cade McGee, swing and a drive. Left field, automatic. Everybody froze. Wow, was that a huge double play. Cade McGee quiets everyone with his eighth of the year, and it went 402 feet. That's but he's got four hits and a homer. Swing and a miss, and that will do it. And some words from the pitcher over to the bench, Texas Tech, Stone Hewlett. Not sure what that was about or why it was necessary, but Hewlett gets the strikeout. Arkansas sweeps the two games set. They win it today, five to four. Two one-run games between two teams that are pretty familiar with the postseason. Texas Tech with some work to do to ensure that they're in. They would be as of now, but Arkansas just strengthens that resume the last two days. Now 32 and five overall.